work quietly and follow along. At any point, click the pause button to catch up or take a break. Hi, in this video, I'm going to teach you a dyeing technique for your fabric. This is how we prep it so we can get a really awesome effect and pattern when it's all done. This is called the scrunch or it's also known as kumo is the technical name for it. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick an area on your fabric and I want you just to, you can put your finger underneath it. See my finger kind of poking through. You're going to pull after placing your fingers on from one hand over the other and release your finger. You can then give it a little twist as well. You want this nice and tight. After you, you kind of have like a little ghost, you're going to then take a rubber band and go around it lots and lots of times so your rubber band is pretty tight. Just like that. You can add as many of these as you like, but let's shoot for three. We're gonna repeat the process. I'm just gonna rotate my fabric so it's a little easier. Sticking my finger underneath and using my other hand to grab that area. Now I'm going to just twist that little area of the fabric, kind of creating like a little ghost, and then using my rubber band to tie it off nice and tightly. All I'm doing is wrapping the rubber band around and around and around. There you go. You don't want your rubber band too loose, so just keep wrapping until it's nice and secure. There I have two. I'm gonna shoot for one more. You can fill it up, remember, as much as you want, but let's do one more. Sticking my finger underneath, grabbing it, and then I'm just giving it like a little twist. Twisted it about two, three times, whatever you think. Make sure it's nice and tight. And now we're gonna wrap the rubber band around. Similar to how you put a ponytail in your hair. There we go. Here is my fabric. So there's three of them, you can add more. It's completely up to you.